Hey guys, welcome to another video at Swivel's Garage. As you guys see in the thumbnail, we are going to install grill decals. I usually paint my grills, but on this truck, I don't really want to paint anything yet. Just see how the market goes on the values and stuff. But anyways, we're gonna stick the, it's tough stuff. I'll show you what it comes. I bought it off eBay. It's like $120, I think. Maybe it was 200, I don't remember. But we're gonna put those on. And we're gonna go, right now we're gonna go over a few little uh, projects that we have coming up, coming up that we've been working on for a while, just a little update. Since this won't take long, I'm just gonna do like fitment and install, I'll show you guys, see if you guys wanna buy them. They're like a gel sticker, so it's not just like a decal. So we'll go over there, take a look at that, and then look at the projects. All right guys, some of the projects. Uh, we still have the Slobra, if you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know it's kind of a big project. Doing a cage, mini tubs, a lot of stuff. You guys can go back and watch some of the videos on it, but starting to wrap it up, buying more parts for it to finish it. So trying to get this thing done. It's been apart for a long time, as you can tell by the dust. Show you guys under the hood quick. I have the turbo kit off right now, just because we're gonna redo it. So shaved engine bay, I'm not gonna do a tube front end, but the turbos are front mount. Radiator's in the back, but it's right there right now. As you can see, it's super, super dirty. So kind of neglected. Pace car, very, very slow process, but front bumper is painted and it's done. I just gotta put it on. I'm cleaning the front panel support. I forget what they're called, but I'm cleaning that now. Mach 1, we're gonna wash this in the next video, see what I bought. I haven't even washed it since I bought it. It's kind of like a barn find. We did get the motor pulled out. It is the MMR stroker like the like we thought. So that was a score, but you can see this thing's super dirty. It sat in a storage unit for years. So we're just getting that done. This is a twin turboed 475 MMR stroker built for our 70 car. 0304 Cobra seats. So we'll be working on that. And uh, these three will pretty much be the Mustangs that I'm working on for now in the videos. We already did a lot of those. A lot of you guys want to see the finish on the boss motor, but I pretty much put it on pause right now just because it's too much going on right now. So we're going to finish these three and then we're going to go from there. All right guys, we're back and uh, this is how they come. I already opened this one. I just put it back on to show you guys. It's like a little plastic film goes over it and then you get your overlays. They kind of have, I don't know, I think they'll clean up, but that stuff kind of leaves like a film on them. But anyways, here's the instructions. They do come with pretty nice instructions. Basically all you do is clean it and stick them on. So I already cleaned it with alcohol. So we're gonna go over there and hold these up, see how they look, and uh, see if they cut them out right, I guess. I like, I'll just show you when we get over there how I like doing it. So pretty much just stick there like that. The reason that I like painting my stuff like I did on my old one, is because then you can paint to this line back here, right there. So it looks 3D, where when you do these, it's not really 3D, if you know what I mean. I mean, it still looks good, but I, th I like the 3D look better. So it looks like the whole, you know what I'm talking about. But like I said, I don't wanna paint on this truck yet. If I do, if I don't like these, we'll paint the grill and then I'll probably do the flares and the bumpers because I'm still on the edge about it. I don't know. I just kind of like how it looks rugged and mean right now, where when you color match, it just looks like, I don't know, like a pavement princess more, even though that's what I use it for. But yeah, I'm gonna hold all these up, make sure they fit, and then uh, I'm gonna put the camera up and show you guys just sticking them on. All right, here we go, one or two. Once these things are stuck on, they're pretty much stuck on too. So, same with the decal, but these are a little, since they're like a, a gel, they don't like to come back off. So, I'm gonna 
pretty much get it where I want it. Get an idea of where it goes. Pretty much mark it out in my head. And totally wing it. If you're scared and don't do this a lot, I recommend holding it up there. Put like tape on the edges where it goes. But if you're like me, you might mess up by uh, just throwing it on there. Just do it. This will kind of give me an idea of what it looks like with the color match to see if I do want to take it apart and paint it. It does look way better already, just having one on there. They do sell just the art too. If you just want a big coat on a jar, I think that's just really gaudy in my opinion. So I'm only going to do the color match like this, which I think will look good. I like how the, the gel coat's like thick. Where if you just buy like a sticker, it kind of looks cheap. This kind of shines with the paint. It's kind of like a clear coat almost. So it gives it more of like, it gives it more like a color match since it looks like it's paint. This next one. those ones and then we'll throw those on too. Alright, gonna do the last couple and I'll go around and show you what it looks like. Also make sure you look them over before you stick them on. Make sure there's no like screw ups in the clear because they are like a gel. There's like bubbles and stuff. I'd probably catch that before you start installing them. I've had that happen before in the past. Not with this company they have it, but they all use the same stuff, I'm sure. Once you clean this with uh, alcohol, they get static electricity. You want to make sure you get all the stuff off. so much better. I don't know why they didn't do this in the back. Well, I know why, because they're cheap, but... They make them look so much better. They should have it as an option on those, to be honest. Because a lot of us would just rather pay than to do it. Like that, simple. Don't overthink it. It's easy. It's not like you're gonna hurt somebody if you do it wrong. Man, it looks good. Show you guys here quick. So much better. Let me know what you guys think. I like it. The camera makes it look like it doesn't match just a little bit, but it's pretty dead on. I set one on, on the hood when I first got them because they didn't look right in the house and it was like perfect match. So, way better. Go up here. I like it. Gives it more flavor. So, quick little easy install. It's pretty much winter here. I got my cars put away. So like I said, we're going to be finishing these up. So just like and subscribe. Stay on the channel if you guys like Mustangs and Fords. Pace cars pretty much done. So I'll be wrapping that up in the next week or two, most likely. 
Mach 1 I'm going to get together as soon as I can. We're waiting on a head gasket. And then these guys are put away. So if you guys want to see anything about these, just comment. I can make a video on them if you guys want. We have to put a center console in that Mach 1, which is right here. So we're going to be doing that. If you guys like collectibles on this stuff, there's my pace car shelf. This is under construction right now. 93 Cobra stuff, Terminator stuff, and then uh, the new GT500, and then my Shelby down there. I gotta finish that shelf, and we're waiting on more pegs to get the shelves up for these to display my other cars. So if you guys see anything that I'm missing that you guys might have or sell, shoot me a DM. I might be interested. But that's just a little bit on what's going to be on the channel over the winter and stuff. So a lot to come. I do snowmobile too, but not a ton. Depends how much snow we get. So let me know what you guys want to see more of. It's probably going to be this one. I already know that. So we'll have a video out soon. I just got some seat mounts for these for the brackets for the backrest since they're carbon seats got to make them more sturdy so it goes around the cage and uh, supports it the seats aren't bolted all the way in but I'll just show you how flimsy that like when you launch it you know so we'll be getting that stuff done and uh, thanks for watching we will have more on the Raptor R my buddy bought a TRX so we'll beat that horse a little more do some comparison videos see if we can do something a little different than everyone else and uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.